What's up guys? Shane here the Rice Creek Bushcraft. Uh, long time no see. I haven't done any videos in a very long time. Um, today I want to just talk about a knife that I recently purchased. It's the Falkneven H1. Um, I've got some maple here. We're gonna baton a little bit of it, a little bit of it and do some feather sticks and just kind of see see what we think about it and how it feels. Um, I'm not going to go over all the specs. You can look that stuff up, but it's the blade thickness is 0.20. I'll get up closer so you can see it. Um, it's about 8.3 inches overall. It's got a four inch blade. I was going to bring out my F1 and then I forgot. So um, it's got, I don't know, it's about a quarter inch lanyard hole. Um, obviously convex grind. Good good blade thickness um, so before we start using it it's got it's got the typical Zytel sheath or whatever it's got the rubberized handle but I want to talk about the handle itself that's why I wanted to bring my f1 out so if any of you guys had the f1 you know the handles relatively straight here um, and it's it's really flat on the sides where this handle it's hard to see but it's fatter in the front and then it narrows down towards the back and it's got this dip here and it gives you a good purchase you know your hands not going to slide forward you got a little bit of a um, guard there and same on the back so it feels really good i like this it's got this little bit of a palm swell it reminds me of that uh oh that new bench made i can't even think what it's called oh they're mm, puko maybe but same kind of like style looking handle um before we go any further on this knife, I kind of want to, like I said, it's been a while since I made a video. I want to apologize. I've been, I've been doing other stuff, making my own knives, and uh, I'll show you a couple of those real quick, um, just so you can kind of see what I've been up to, and then we'll get right into this. Um, so just let me grab a couple. So I've got three here that I just finished. My wife makes all the sheaths. I don't mind this white stuff, it's frog lube. I put frog lube all over the blades. So, I don't know, we got this thing going where we try to match the liner color with the thread. But uh, this is like 10 to 12 ounce um, Herman and Oak leather. It's good high quality stuff. And uh, so yeah, she hand stitches all this, saddle stitches it. So it's not like a lot of these sheets you buy that are done with a machine and the stitches don't go all the way through and then you pull them and they come out. So that's what the sheaths look like. Sewn here in the back. Um, so, anyways, I'll show you these knives. I'll pull these out real quick. These are called. Uh, this is a new model I just came out with. I call this the Wood Witch. And I make them in Scanty Grind. Um, this is obviously convex, and I have frog lube all over it, so it looks greasy. It's it's 80 CRV two. Is a steel that I typically I use 1095 also, but I usually use 80 CRV too. So, handle design is uh, I mean it's just I guess my own, but um, this one I, I make them and I make different. So sometimes I make a coke bottle, so I contour this out, so you've kind of got the coke bottle in the center. This is more like like a oh a wood lore style or maybe adventure sworn, how it's a lot wider in the front and narrows in the back and and that's good because it gives you a good purchase right forward and backward and it's wider in the front which i've talked about before i think that's important when you got a bushcraft knife because you're doing a lot of heavy pushing i don't like it really thin up here because it tends to get your palms sore but uh see if you can see my name here it's name of my knife company is sob forge and it's hard to see because of the light but it stands for Shane O'Hare and Blades. You can go to Facebook or I'm on Instagram, SOB Forge. So there's that one. Um, I had five of these that I did. This was for a gentleman ordered one of these in Scandi and then his wife wanted one and asked if I had something purple. And I happen to have something purple and some green. And this one has a 3 8 lanyard tube. These are not pins. These are actually quarry bolts. I always use quarry bolts and everything. So they're bolted together along with... Um, West Systems Epoxy. Let's see if you can see my name here, my stamp. It's an anvil. It's got two knives in it. 
So there's those two. That's the Wood Witch. And then I just came out with this model. I drew it up a couple days ago. Um, hold on, let me get it out. This has got frog lube on it too. But I haven't came up with a name per se. This is a textured camel bone. And this is more like my Coke bottle style where you've thinner in front, thinner in the back, and you've got the palm swell in the middle. Good size knife. I don't know, this is seven and a quarter or something like that. Of course, I got frog lube all over it. Just got a forged texture on it. You can kind of see the name there a little better with the knives in it. But uh, quarter inch brass lanyard tube. And these are Corby bolts also. And guy was going to use this for hunting, so I put some scallops on the front, as you can see. You know, for, for this kind of thing, you can pinch it. Put your finger up here for skinning. Whatever. So anyways... Let's get back to what we were doing. I just wanted to let you guys know I've been working on some knives. And uh, that's why I haven't made any videos in a while. Because I get out of work and then I'm doing this. Alright, let's get back to the H1. Alright, hopefully this is a decent view. Uh, split some of this stuff up a little bit. Check this knife out. I would expect a bit time pretty good. Because you got this nice thin convex and then it gets thicker toward the spine. So it probably start and then bust it right open I would imagine yeah it works pretty good for that Maple's pretty dang hard. Seems to be working fine. Yeah, it works good. like it so far I like the handle it's not well it's typical falcon even rubberized handle I mean it's not super grippy but it's not slippery so I guess that's what you want Check the spine, see if we can make any fluff with it. It makes some, but it's not ripping. You know, it's it's a little bit because I think they take their belt over this and and probably it gets smoothed off a little bit. It's not super sharp, but it's it's. I mean, pretty typical for a factory knife besides like LT right? And there's a few other ones that production or semi-production that uh, have a pretty sharp spine. But I'd say it's it's pretty average. Yeah, it works good. I mean, it cuts good. It's uh. See if we can kind of make a little notch here. So let's round this up a little bit. Try a notch with it.
side. Yeah, I like kind of the unique thing about this blade is this sweeping blade where the, the F1, this is real, real, real straight. Then you've got a little bit of a upsweep where this is the whole blade almost is, is continually. It's got this upsweep crescent here. Pretty flat um, as far from through the handle to the point of the blade. It, it looks like it's sweeping way up, but it's... You know the cutting edge portion is sweeping up but this is pretty flat pretty flat but yeah i mean um you can get this is a vg10 you can get them in 3g which they're they're about 100 bucks more give or take for the 3g i think i got this for like 150 bucks 145 bucks um knife ship free i guess they're not i don't know if they're not making this model period anymore or they're not making it in vg10 but I know everybody has discounted these. Um, you can find them on eBay and Amazon, 120, 130 bucks sometimes. But uh, I mean, it's gonna be a good, you know, a, a decent bushcraft knife, but I think it's gonna be excellent for a hunting knife. You know, I think that's the H1 is, the, the H stands for hunting because um, it's got that, it's got that blade style, that blade shape, good for skinning and, you know, even good for deboning. That's what I do. I don't even gut a deer. I just skin it in the field and debone, the, you know, debone all the meat and throw it in bags and bring it home. So I, I can't wait to test this. My son, my 11-year-old, got a six-point this year, and uh, I didn't have this yet. So I'm really excited to try it in the field. I think it's going to be awesome. Should work really good for that. Um, typical edge came real, real sharp. Not frighteningly, but it, it's sharp. Like it's. It's really sharp. See if we can see here. You can see it's shaving sharp even after playing with it. So, like I said, it's not frighteningly, but it's it's plain sharp enough. Where a lot of factory knives, you get them and it's like, man, you got to mess with the edge. And nope, this came really good. So that's all. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm gonna really start using this a lot more, and I'll do a lot better review. This is kind of a hack review. I just wanted to sh let you guys see it. Uh, basically, I just needed to make a video, and I got to show you kind of what I've been working on. So, uh, I'm glad you guys, glad you guys checked it out. Like I said, Instagram, SOB Forge, or I have a Facebook page too, and um, sometimes I'll take orders if you're interested. I'm not trying to promote selling these guys, seriously. Like, I have a full-time job, and I can't keep up as it is, so. But if you want, you know, if you want to check out new stuff I'm working on, if you're interested, Facebook's a good place, and so is Instagram. I post them in both places. So, anyways, awesome being back. I'm going to try to make some more videos and, and just set some time aside. At least I'd like to do one a week would be nice because I've got a lot of other knives that I've purchased and you guys haven't even been able to see, and that, that stinks. So I'm going to try to be a little better at this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, blessed day. See ya.